The Social Security COLA increase looks like it just got bigger. Take a look. October 12th, as you know, five days away is going to be a big day for Social Security recipients. October 12th is when the Bureau of Labor Statistics is scheduled to release its September Consumer Price Index, and this is the measurement of inflation for our nation. Now, the data of that report, it will contain and it will dictate what the raise to Social Security recipients will be in 2024. Now, as you guys know, the CPI data released, it will show how inflation has taken place, and they take Q3 July, August, and September's readings, and they compare them to last year's to this year to determine how big that cost of living adjustment or that COLA increase for recipients should be. They will increase benefits across the board to keep up with inflation. Now, next year's cost of living adjustment is expected to be much lower than that of 2023's, which was a 40-year high at 8.7%. So they're expecting that this one is going to be somewhere between 3 to 4%. So that means any new like what came out yesterday is good news for recipients because they need all the help that they can get right now and take a look at this yesterday jobs report shock shocking news coming out as american economy added a stunning 336,000 jobs in September. Strong U.S. jobs growth shows the economy is defying challenges. Employers added 336,000 jobs in September, almost double what experts had forecasted and the biggest gains since January. As you can see here, a huge jump up in the charts for the jobs report, and this shocked everybody. Now, what does this mean? Well, a good economic news like this for the jobs report is essentially bad inflation news. It means that Inflation is still high. The Federal Reserve is trying to slow it down by increasing interest rates. It means that we have a hotter economy than anticipated. Things are still circulating in our economy fast with the flow of money. And that means that with a higher inflation reading like this that is likely to come out, there could also be a higher cost of living adjustment than anticipated. Take a look here. The Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners, which is the information that's going to be released on the 12th, or the CPIW is used to measure inflation. The Social Security Administration uses the CPIW to calculate the cost of living adjustment, or the COLA. And the COLAs are the increases in Social Security benefits that counteract inflation. Inflation. So as the cost of goods and living increases, they increase those fixed income benefits across the board to all Social Security recipients as well. Now, the CPIW represents the prices of a basket of goods. The Social Security Administration bases its COLAs on the average annual increases in the CPIW from July through September, as we mentioned, quarter three. And the Social Security Administration will approve a COLA if the average CPIW has increased by more than a tenth of one percent and we're hearing right now, it says the projections are around 3.2%, but this news that the jobs report came out double than what was anticipated could be moving that number up. It says the COLA for 2023 was 8.7%. The 2024 Social Security COLA is expected to be 3.2%. But that might have all changed. So I'm going to get you the latest information coming out in articles. And then also yesterday, if you missed the big announcement, the Social Security Administration had a press release stating that they are finally responding to all of the outrage from millions of Social Security beneficiaries, from Congress and from news outlets saying that recipients, they're receiving letters requesting that they pay back overpayment that was the fault of the Social Security Administration to the tunes of thousands, tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands of dollars in overpayments. And I shared with you yesterday live that press release, and I let you know my personal opinion, it was not cutting it. If you take a look at that live, jump in about nine or ten minutes, I kind of let you know my thoughts, and I think that Social Security should be here to help people that have paid into it their entire lives. It is not an entitlement program. It's something that's been paid into, and then when it's time for people to receive it, it should be here to help them, not to drive them into bankruptcy as the Social Security Administration makes errors and then requires recipients to make up for it just not right in my opinion. So stick around to the end. I'll give you a link to that video so you can check it out next. But right now, let's cover the increase to Social Security benefits so you can get the latest. And before we dive into these articles, do me a quick favor. Smash that like button if you appreciate the updates. Helps out the channel a ton. Hit subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. Why not? And with that being said, 
let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so first up, link in the description below to this article that just came out this week. As you know, I cite all the sources in the description so you can read them for yourself. I put them on the screen and read right from them so you can see it's the latest. And this says, October 12th is gonna be a big day for Social Security recipients. It's an announcement that seniors, they have been waiting for. Seniors on Social Security were thrown a major bone at the start of 2023 when their benefits rose 8.7%. That cost of living adjustment, or COLA increase, was the largest one to arrive in decades. And it was spurred by a rampant inflation that plagued consumers through 2022. At this point, Social Security recipients are really eager to know what 2024's COLA will look like. And they won't have to sit tight too much longer to find out. On October 12th, the Bureau of Labor Statistics is scheduled to release September's Consumer Price Index. That report will include data from the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, or the CPIW, a subset of CPI. Now, once that information comes in, the Social Security Administration will be able to calculate a COLA for 2024. It typically makes that announcement right away, which means that comes out October 12th, Social Security recipients should be in the know. But whether they end up happy with next year's COLA is a different story. As a lot of people are saying, we had 8.7, we need that or higher. And right now it's looking to be about half according to projections. It's gonna be a smaller raise that is expected. Let's get one thing out of the way. 2024's Social Security COLA won't come close to the raise that seniors received at the start of 2023. At this point, 2024's COLA estimates are generally coming in around three to three and a half percent range. I shared with you 3.2 was the latest projection, but it looks like that could be going up after yesterday. Historically speaking, that is actually not so low for a COLA. Rather, it's that senior's most recent point comparison is 8.7%, so a raise in a 3% range is apt to seem stingy, even if it's not. Of course, it's important to remember that since COLAs are pegged to inflation, a smaller raise is also an indication that living costs have come down. That's apt to be a source of relief for seniors who get a bulk of their retirement income from Social Security. But even still, many seniors are saying it is just simply not enough, and that is why a lot of people are calling for reform and increases across the board in addition to COLA, like that $2,400 a year or $200 per month increase proposed in the Social Security Expansion Act. I've covered that in detail. Check that video out next if you missed it. Now, the wild card factor will be Medicare Part B. Keep an eye on this. No matter what 2024's Social Security COLA ends up being, seniors should be aware that a hike in Medicare Part B premiums has the potential to whittle that raise down. Seniors who are enrolled in Medicare and Social Security at the same time have their Part B premiums deducted from their benefits automatically. So if Part B gets a lot more expensive, seniors will see even less from their 2024 COLA. In 2023, the COLA Medicare Part B actually went down. That's not expected to happen, though, in 2024. In fact, estimates from earlier this year had the cost of Medicare Part B rising from $164.90, the standard monthly premium now, to $174.80 next year. So all told, seniors will need to wait on not just an announcement from the Social Security Administration on next year's COLA, but also for an update on Medicare premium costs. Now, all told, October 12th is apt to be a big day for anyone who collects Social Security. In addition to a 2024 COLA announcement, the Social Security Administration will put out a fact sheet on other changes to the program as well, like what the wage cap looks like and what the earnings test limit will entail for Social Security recipients who work and collect benefits at the same time. So clearly, it's a good day to read and to listen to the news and to be on the lookout for important information and know that here in the channel, I will keep you up to date every step of the way. Now, yesterday was a big day. Strong U.S. job growth shows the economy is defying challenges. Take a look here at the chart. You can see that there was a huge bump up in jobs. Now, in a sign of continued economic stamina, so that means things are not slowing down, inflation is still with us, and as a result, Social Security recipients might need a higher or bigger increase than what is anticipated. American payrolls grew by 336,000 jobs in September on a seasonally adjusted basis, the Labor Department said on Friday yesterday. The increase, almost double what economists had forecasted, confirmed the labor market's vitality 
vitality and the overall hardiness of an economy facing challenges from a variety of forces. It was the 33rd consecutive month of job growth, and the increase was the biggest since January. The unemployment rate, based on a survey of households, was steady at 3.8%. It has been below 4% for nearly two years, a stretch not achieved since the late 1960s. This is an economy on fire, said Samuel Rines, an economist and managing director of Corbu, a financial research firm. But as we mentioned earlier, good economic news is bad news for inflation, which means that the cost of living is still high, which means that Social Security recipients, they're going to need some additional help. Now, as I mentioned to you before, currently the projections coming out is that the Social Security cost of living adjustment is going to be around 3.2%. However, we've heard that it would likely be between 3 and 4. We've heard between 3 and 3.5%. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this jobs report with double the jobs and we're seeing a hotter economy is going to push it up to three and a half percent, maybe up to four percent? Well, we're going to be finding out in a couple days and I will be sure to keep you up to date as soon as that information is released. And also to get the exact amounts for a 3.2 percent increase, be sure to check out this video right here as I cover the numbers in detail for each type of beneficiary for Social Security. And also, if you missed that video yesterday with the press release, check it out right here as I cover it in detail and I also share my personal opinions about what took place. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll be sure to keep you up to date. Looks like the increases could be bigger and I'll let you know as soon as we find out. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.